Good morning. Today is basically a day where I'm going to spend all of it just working on Dotty by myself. Spitfire Trading came around um, about a week ago and we went through so much stuff. It might not look like there's been much of an improvement in the condition of the car. Fucking bikers. Yeah, um, but there has because we've gone through so much of the electrics together. There were so many pins to check, connectors to clean up, um, a couple of lost earths which Spitfire Trading found and then um, we gave those components their own earths and miraculously they started working. So we've got, or we did have, I haven't checked it today, but we did have all lights working, horns, um, brake light switch is here and I need to wire it in but all the wiring works basically loads of stuff buttoned down <coughs> it's just a case of tidying everything up now and um, <coughs> I've got some of the hoses I needed for the engine bay now so they can go back together uh, horns are in down the front there um, I do need a new fan belt haven't ordered one yet I've only just remembered I've lifted the bonnet had an issue with the bonnet release at the body shop put that in temporarily but it's all a bit um, misaligned at the moment and when I do that bolt up it actually traps the bonnet down and you can't open it so that needs fixing other than that it's really um, tidying stuff up and I would quite like to get most of the interior fitted in now we're going with no rear seat belts um, so actually those trim panels can go in, the headliner can go in once I've got that grab rail off which the bolt has seized to the ceiling which is quite annoying. Door cards, door interior membranes, the little marker lights were down here and then yeah that's basically the plan for today and how much of it I get done I don't know but um, it's dry, the weather forecast says dry so I'm just going to crack on. I'm not attacking these jobs in any particular order but I've just rerouted the spark plug leads and taken a measurement of the Y piece I need to connect between the breather pipes and I've gone and dug around and found that pipe down there which will work on there. I've painted up the two big air intake ducts they're just waiting to dry. Then I was looking in here and I really need to get that problematic troublesome grab handle off so I'm going to drill the old screw out and then see if I can get some mole grips on it and maybe a bit of heat and um, crack that off. I have tried lubing it up in the past and it's not having any of it. Um, the rear bracket bolts to the car, the front is a welded fixture. All of the others have come out okay. I will go back through them with a tap and die before I ever bother trying to put a screw back in. This one um, I'm going to try and drill all the way through with a very fine drill bit first. These are a little kit, I think it's like $3.99 for them, um, but they're really useful just for the cases and then you can get dormer bits or better ones later. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and drill all the way through, gradually bigger and bigger and bigger. The head will break off, I'll have a bit of stub left and hopefully I can get that out afterwards. We have movement, I don't know whether it's just the head, it is just the head, but that went most of the way through quite neatly. So that's a result there's no way i'm going to be able to get grips on that because the um the metal has just degraded to absolutely nothing so i'm going to continue drilling through ever larger until i get to um what are they m5 i think so m5 let's go to four mil and see what happens after that and then i'll go and get a tap and see if i can just tap it through That worked better than I had anticipated. Two decent threads there. Just got to go around and tap out all the others and then go find another couple of screw on brackets. I think I only need one because I don't think the driver has a grab handle. I've moved back to the engine bay for no particular reason. I've installed the air ducts, the proper clips there. I've bought a Y piece to go um, to join that one to that one to that one. I just need a bit of hose for there and the Y piece to arrive and then down the other side I've rooted that duct as it should be <clears throat> and Put the p-clip in down here. There should be a little plastic grill to go in there. I've got one and um, It's on its way. Hopefully 
or I'll collect it at some point. Basically, when the engine is cold, I should start again. There's a, a bimetallic strip in here. When that strip is cold, it bends inherently that way and closes off that port, which means that when the engine first starts up, it sucks in warm air from this manifold heat exchanger here, nice warm air. Then as the car warms up, the strip moves back the other way, closes that one off and it just sucks in cold air through that one. So it's quite fun. I think that's right. It might be completely the, the other way around, but I can't remember. Um, I'm going to go find the washer bottle and install that. Uh, Dotty is running series two washer jet. Um, series one early ones would have had them in the bonnet up here so we don't want that we want them in the scuttle so wash a bottle find the pipe I've checked the wiring for the pump and I've checked the pump so that's all good it just needs to all be fitted and rooted properly the next super happy fun job is to fit the courtesy lights in the back of the door there's only these fitted to the front doors one each side obviously that's the door loom and gator which goes in there then we have that plug should plug into the car and have power but only gets switched when that is attached to one of these spring door sensors um, and then makes or breaks so obviously the light doesn't come on unless you open the door problem is all of Dotty's has been hacked and butchered um, and so has the the wiring going into it as well because of probably the spark right system so if you open the door they were using that switch to then trigger the alarm or something so I don't know reliably yet whether I'm going to get 12 volts coming in but the first thing I'm going to do is build the door bit install all that check it all works check the switch works they need to earth to the body so i need the right kind of screw to go between the metal plate and the the body and make a good contact and put some wax on that as well so it can't fail again um check the bulbs do all that kind of stuff fit the grommet and then everything else can be done from that plug and the car so i'm not going to film a lot of this because it's all the same process as before i'll be using my power probe whatever i've done with it connected to a battery if I can find a battery and I'll go and find my voltmeter too that's in I had to do one soldered repair loom runs through that's the door gator that's the earth waiting for the switch and then that's the loom plug which will plug it up there but I just want to before I start fanning around with the earth check that that all still works which it should because nothing's really changed So that needs to go in there and make a good earth with a decent screw and I need to check I'm getting 12 volts from that plug when the lights are on. Light is off, light is on, light is off, light is on. So that is all good. I can just secure the wiring in these clips, stop it rattling and then that's done. Mm, got to do the other side now um, <clears throat> and this one I've got the gasket got the right thing that's the switch that's one of them and all I need to do is make up an actual light unit with the right plug because that's a series 2 plug that's not got a plug on it what's that one that one's got a chocolate block connector so I'll have to lash something up. Door number two 
done. Stuff like that's actually quite time consuming but quite satisfying. Uh, I'll think about what to do next. It's squeaky bum time. That represents 320 quid's worth of finest brand new recovered fiberglass headlining. So fitting that without getting it dirty um, and managing to cut all the holes in it in the right places for the grab handles and the sun visors is quite tricky. Got my grab handles there. I've found amazingly I had seven for the correct screws for the grab handles. I can't find the bracket for the rear view mirror. I've found some of the studs for the um, sun visors and what I'm going to do is post this through and then offer it up and see if I can get it started in a couple of places. For the back it should have originally little metal clips that hung off the rear drip rail went underneath and then poked through holes in the rear of the headlining held it up these new boards are so stiff that you can get away with just having one like in my police car i've just got one in the center middle and it works fine but this time because um there is the possibility that the bracket can rust and stain the headlining i'm going to try and use double-sided velcro so i've been down and um, bought myself uh, eight pounds worth of double-sided velcro which has eight kilograms of pull strain on it or something basically it's meaty stuff so i'm going to attempt to post that through without damaging it and start cutting holes in it with a knife to screw the grab handles in and secure it i've put bin liners over the headrests in the back seat just to try and protect it a bit and i'll leave the most of the plastic on and hopefully i can cut it out and slide it off while the headlining is in the car But it's all very temporary because once again i've run out of time but headlining is balanced in there i've just screwed a couple of grab handles in and a couple of bits of trim just to hold it in place but really before i button it down i need the sun visors in because then i can work out where i need to drill the holes for the clips which go somewhere there but i can't work out where exactly my cunning plan for the velcro at the back i don't think it's going to work because it's too saggy or springy really um, and where it wants to touch is too much of a gap so i haven't worked out what i'm going to do there yet i might have to just fabricate a little bracket to hold it same as on other cars but um, i think i'm going to call it a day there because i'm kind of out of time um, so it's all it's not going to fall down it's not going to get wet or dirty so I can lock it up and uh, yeah, still still motoring, still making progress. It seems like I've done nothing today. Every little thing has just taken that bit longer than I anticipated, which is a shame that that's the way it goes. So see you later. It's another sunny day. Me and Spitfire Training are hurriedly working through Dotty. The headlining I have now finished installing with the grab handles. I still haven't done the sun visors at the front, but the grab handles are in uh, left side, the one at the rear right, driver's side doesn't have one. The post covers at the back are in, all retrimmed, as are the speaker covers. The uh, C pillar trims are in. Now I'm just doing the final fit of the seat backs. These are the cushions that go under the seat base. That's the other bolster to go in. And um, yeah, it's coming along. I thought I'd quickly show this bit. Dotty was never meant to have these Series 2 stainless trims on the tread plates. Um, incidentally, all of this will get cleaned up afterwards. I'm just shoving them in because I've got them in my hand. Um, so you need all the captive plastic plug washers and the little brackets which go underneath the trim here to take the stainless things. And you also need all the little proper stainless screws and ferrules which I've got scattered around the place so they're going in and it's quite a slow process but it will look good when done. The build-up continues and it continues to throw up things that I hadn't thought of namely the differences between series 1 and series 2 door cards and doors. On the series 1 like this the back of the door has the vent nozzle 
with a duct which gets screws to the top of the inside of the door and of course this being a series 2 door doesn't have it so we've got to fit that in there and then continue fitting bracketry and stuff to take the series 1 door card that's the end of another very long day but more progress has been made um, all of the underside of the engine bay is now all buttoned up um, readjusted the bonnet latch that works still need to find decent wiper arms still need to put the rest of the dash together but most of the door interiors are done both rear door cards are fitted they just need the handles and the ashtrays put back in in the boot everything is done in terms of the headlining the tailgate and the parcel shelf and its straps I need to make a bracket to hold the middle of the parcel shelf up at the rear otherwise that's good and really it's the final fiddly stuff but um, it's going on the trailer tomorrow for its big trip to its new owner and then the rest of the final work will be done there this is sort of a seminal moment Dottie is just about to go on the trailer to her new home it isn't the end of the Dottie videos because obviously there's still work to do but it will be done at my mate's house I might have just explained that in another piece of video I have done very little else other than clean out some of the crap I haven't given it a deep clean because obviously there's still lots of stuff to do in here but you can kind of see the effect now if you go back to the very first videos you'll remember it didn't quite look like this so <clears throat> not much else to add really as many of the spare parts as um, that I've got there's still quite a lot I've misplaced like the um, I bought a pair of corrugated series one C pillar trims can't find them there's one glove box missing can't find that I have now found the special nut that holds the near side mirror on which is good I found a pair of wings uh, windscreen wipers they're the correct ones for a series one but i really wanted the series two bosch type ones but can't find them but anyway um that's the end of today's video and um yeah hopefully in the next one it will be final bolting bits together and detailing the hell out of it because um, that was the bit i was most looking forward to is just spending a whole day making it look super pretty but we'll have to wait for another time